Hi, we're here this evening at the Saratoga City Council meetings where we've just had changeover in city council members. I'm here with outgoing mayor Howard Miller. Howard, thank you for being here tonight. Well, how could I miss it? <laughs> well, I've heard some wonderful words of praise for one, your wonderful, wonderful term as mayor. What uh, can you speak to some of your proudest moments in that role? You know, for me, this was a big year of transition between a new city manager, new community development director, two new council members. And so my goal was to just try and help everything run smoothly. And I was very proud of the council and the new staff for how well they've served the city. And at the same time, we got huge projects done. The Quarry Park is open. Uh, we paid off a significant portion of our outstanding pension liability. We increased our road funding uh, for pavement to over a million dollars. Um, the city is on excellent financial footing. We've gotten additional money from the state, our fair share of property taxes. So despite it being a year of just plain transition, we accomplished a huge amount on behalf of the city of Saratoga. What a wonderful, wonderful achievement, wonderful record. Can you tell me, is there anything that maybe you wish you could have done and it still remains to be done? Yeah, so part of the vision with the Quarry Park was that that would be the, the trailhead to the Saratoga to the Sea Trail. And uh, as far as I was able to get was the San Jose Water Company to agree in principle to giving us uh, access to their 500 acre property, which is the last remaining piece to complete that trail. And in my remaining year on the council, I am hopeful to continue to be after San Jose Water Company to get the easement that we need to complete the Saratoga to the Sea Trail. I'm sure you'll get that done. Well, thank you for your wonderful record and your wonderful achievements. Thank you, Howard. Thank you. I'm here with Manny Capella, the newly appointed mayor of Saratoga. Congratulations, Manny. Oh, thank you very much. It's an honor, let me tell you. I love the swearing-in ceremony with you and your extended big Italian family. Yeah, you know, this is really special for them as well as for me, and I really wanted them to be a part of it. My father came from, uh, both my mom and my dad came from very humble beginnings, and they came to America just before I was born uh, with this, uh, you know, uh, desire and dream of having a better life for themselves and their family. And uh, so for them to have a child who is now mayor of a city is, is an amazing honor and something that my father has, has uh, told me uh, in very serious words that I should take it very seriously and, um, and do indeed you know, serve with dignity and honor and don't screw things up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll make him very proud, and he has even higher aspirations for you, Manny. <laughs> yeah, he said something about the state, but I assure you, I have no <laughs> further ambitions beyond Saratoga. I'll never say never, but just the same. Um, I, I'm focusing my attention here in Saratoga to do the best job I can. After all, we serve at the will of the, uh, the, the voters and our residents, and as such, you know, we need to make sure that we keep them in the forefront of our minds so that we are indeed improving the quality of life for all residents. Uh, uh, not for ourselves, but for them. And so Wonderful. that's my focus. Do you have any major projects in mind? Well, yeah, again, our uh, village visioning, which we're calling it, is to come up with a master plan for our village. Not to change it, but to make sure that we have design guidelines so that uh, should a property owner wish to, uh, to rebuild or remodel their, their storefront, they can do so with an idea in mind of what we as residents want our village to be both in terms of its aesthetics as well as what we want in terms of our benefits from it. I mean, we could look at our village as simply a commercial zone or we could look at it as we do a park from the standpoint of a place that you gather with your neighbors and with other residents and enjoy the open space uh, as well as the uh, architectural uh, pieces, elements that are inviting to us in places that we'd like to just hang out and be a community in. And so this is what, what um, the village visioning is to uh, embark on, is to make sure that we have a vision and a master plan for the village that reflects what we as a community want it to be. And again, it, it can be exactly what it is today because what we have is wonderful, but again, to give guidance Line so that future um, individuals can design to that with an idea of what it is we want. 
So. Well, it sounds like you're off to a very good start making life better for every single person here in Saratoga. Thank you, Manny. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I'm here with Emily Lowe, newly uh, appointed vice mayor for the city of Saratoga. Congratulations, Thank Emily. you very much, Ginger. It's my pleasure and my honor to be elected. Emily, you're not new to the council and you're not new to this role, are you? Having been a mayor before? Yes, yeah, so um, this is my f Actually, I'm finishing up my fifth year on the city council um, because this year is the first year of my second term. So yes, I've been a vice mayor and a mayor before and I would like to uh, leverage my past experience to assist our mayor in his capacity to fulfill his role. Well, thank you very much for your intended support. I'm sure there are many projects that you can assist him with. What are some of the major projects that you have in mind? Okay, so as far as capital improvement project goes, for example, um, like what Manny has um, uh, mentioned earlier, the um, Prospect Road Improvement Project is a big one because it involves about $4.7 million. So you will see a very, um, it, you will see great improvement on Prospect Road, um, which includes the left turn medians, um, beautification, uh, bicycle lane, and all we want to make it a safer place to drive and also to bike. How long will this project take before it's complete? I would say about a year, yeah. And it will start, um, I would say, maybe about the spring of uh, 2016. After we're, we are done with the public meeting and all the kind of formalities. Are there any other major projects for the city of Saratoga? Yes. So as far as capital improvement project goes, Hakone Master Plan is another big one. So we are in the process of refining um, the Hakone Master Plan in different stages, um, depending on the priorities and the fundings. And we will need community support very much in that respect. And then overall, I think public safety is still high on the list. I think it is something that our residents are really cared a lot about. You know, public safety in Saratoga. We want to uphold our status as the safest or one of the safest cities in California. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like you have a major to-do list and I'm sure you'll get it all done. Thank you very much and I need everyone's support too. Thank you, Emily.